Thousands of candles lit up Washington, D.C. as a symbol of the number of lives that could be saved from drunk driving. Kylie Hill spoke with a Lexington woman who attended the event and learns why this is a mission she feels she's been called to do. Imagine enjoying a day on the lake in the heart of summer, taking in the sun, hopping on your jet ski. It's what you've done hundreds of days before until one day everything changes. There was a 17 foot bass boat coming under a nearby bridge going about 70 miles an hour, which is a speed unheard of on almost any lake, but especially on a lake as narrow as Harrington. But when I saw him coming, I did what I had been trained to do. I gave my mom a thumbs up to let her know I saw him coming and I wasn't going to move. When you get your boating license, they teach you that if a boat's coming towards you, don't move or try to anticipate where they're going to go. Just stay where you are and wait for them to pass. Those were the moments that led up to Lexington resident Alex Audie's life changing forever more than 14 years ago through no fault of her own. He hit me from the side going about 60 miles an hour, threw me off the jet ski. I landed face down in the water. The boat went up over the jet ski and landed on top of my body. I sustained severe life-threatening and lifelong injuries from head to toe, including a traumatic brain injury. I live every single minute of every day with the consequences of someone else's choice because I wake up in the morning and put a leg on. Now she's on a mission, a mission to prevent others from experiencing the same fate. That's why she and members of MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, travel to Washington, D.C. to light 10,000 candles. On my son's deathbed, I cradled his face and I cried and I told him I was so sorry and I couldn't protect him. And now what I want to do is protect everyone else. The candle symbolized the lives that could be saved annually with anti-drunk driving technology with the help of the HALT Act. It was passed and enacted into law in uh, 2021 and it's really a historic moment for traffic safety because what the HALT Act does, this bipartisan law, uh, is requires the U.S. Department of Transportation to create a federal motor vehicle safety standard, much like was done for seatbelts, airbags, rear view cameras, automatic emergency braking. It's a safety feature that simply doesn't allow a drunk driver to operate their vehicle. Though the U.S. Department of Transportation missed a deadline to issue new regulations regarding the technology, people like Audi aren't stopping their fight. We will continue making sure that this moves forward. We will continue bringing awareness to the issue, letting people know that this isn't an accident, it's not a mistake, it's a choice, and with that, it's preventable. Kylie Hill, Fox 56 News.